veterinary students reach out to me all the time and tell me how they are being bullied in their veterinary school classes for voicing concerns about their school's treatment of animals. We just published a paper where we looked at all of the public veterinary schools in the United States and Canada and got records of how many animals they kill for student education, how they source those animals. We found that the vast majority of schools still do kill animals for student education. But when students voice concerns, they're called humaniacs. One professor made all of his vegan and vegetarian students stand up and then he proceeded to berate them in front of the class. When I said that, if Jane Goodall were a 24-year-old veterinary student, her views would not be well tolerated in veterinary school. What I meant was that she was against Bavarium-based animal experimentation, and she wanted to see an end to our dependence on animal-based protein production. That perspective is not well tolerated in veterinary schools. Some students commented, yes, absolutely. I agree with you 100% on this. That's been my experience as well. My views have not been well tolerated in veterinary schools. And other students said, that's not been my experience at all. We accept all sorts of perspectives. You're just wrong about that. Somebody even said, I'm sorry that's been your experience, but you shouldn't be bad mouthing the profession. And I say, absolutely we should. That's how we make our profession stronger, by voicing concerns about what is done to veterinary students. We shouldn't be dismissing veterinary students who are voicing concerns about their schools. If you haven't talked to every veterinary student and heard all the conversations, you can't say that your school is not bullying and retaliating against people who are voicing concerns about your school's practices. They worry that their grades will suffer. They worry that they'll lose opportunity, that they'll be denied jobs, they'll be denied scholarships, they'll be denied lucrative volunteer positions. We should absolutely be talking about it. But the bigger question is, why are so many veterinary students simping for their schools? You should think of your school like your sugar daddy. Yes, get your bag, get your degree. But these are old, crusty institutions that have problematic views and they probably committed war crimes. So you do not have to support everything that they do. Get your degree, get out of there, and you should absolutely be criticizing their practices. And if you're not rolling your eyes at what is being taught at least three times a day, you are not being educated, you are being indoctrinated.